Hey, our friends, so you're going to be drawing a pumpkin. Yeah, with a pug inside. A pugkin. Yeah, <laughs> pugkin. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first fold our paper. Since we're doing a folding surprise, we'll repeat all of the same steps. If you've already done a folding surprise, you can skip forward if you do this part faster. So we're going to take that top edge, line it up with the bottom, crease it down the middle and out to the corners. Yes, then we're going to take the top flap, line it up with the top edge, crease it down. There you go. And then we're going to flip our paper over. And then we're going to repeat that same step. We'll take the top flap, line it up with the top edge, crease it down. Nice. Now we're going to take that last fold and unfold it and flatten it out. This is just a guide fold to help us when we're drawing. Cool. Now let's flip our paper back over. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, I like to put a scratch piece of paper underneath our drawing paper just to protect our table. It really doesn't have to be red. Okay, now we're ready to draw. Let's first draw our pumpkin. I'm going to draw it a upside down U shape above the fold. And we want to leave some room up here for the stem on our pumpkin. Then we could draw a U shape underneath the fold. And we also want to line that up with the upside down U shape. Now let's draw the stem above our pumpkin. So we're going to draw two curves coming out of the top. And then we can connect those two lines together. We could also draw a pumpkin leaf. I'm going to draw a curve that comes out to the left. And then let's draw a curve that comes down. Oh, it kind of looks like an apple. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> then we're going to draw another curve on the other side. I think pumpkin leaves have, uh, they look different, but that's okay. We could also draw little lines on the inside. That definitely looks like an apple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn it into a jack-o'-lantern so it looks more like a pumpkin. Okay. I'm going to draw a little curve like this and another curve right next to it. Kind of looks like an upside down J. These are going to be the inside of our pumpkin eyes. Then I'm going to draw a curve that comes out to the left or a straight line that comes out to the left and also out to the right. And then we're going to draw a bigger upside down U above the eye. So this is the cutout for our eyes. And then we can also make that look more 3D by adding the same curve inside. So that's the pumpkin, the thickness of the pumpkin. Cool. Now let's draw the mouth. I'm going to draw a happy pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to draw a curve for the top of the mouth. And then right here, maybe we could add a tooth. <laughs> That's a big tooth. And then a little curve to finish the end of the... And then let's draw the bottom of the smile. We'll come down really far and then back up to connect. Let's make this look more 3D like we did for the eyes. Makes it look like we've cut it out of the pumpkin, the hard shell. So we're going to add a diagonal line there and then connect up to the top. Then let's draw the bottom of the mouth. We'll just draw the same U shape for the smile and connect to the other side. The fun part about this lesson too is you don't have to draw that jack-o'-lantern face the same as us. You yeah. can change it. Maybe it's angry or scary. <laughs> okay, now let's open up our paper. We finished the pumpkin part. Now we get to draw the pug part. We're gonna draw the bottom of the pumpkin first down here. I'm going to draw a little curve like this, maybe so it looks like it's exploding out of the jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to draw it a little bit taller too. Then right here in the middle, let's draw two U-shapes. I'm going to draw them right about here and draw them kind of big, but right next to each other. These are the paws coming over the edge of the pumpkin. Then let's draw the top of the paw. We'll draw another curve on top, connecting them. That looks like the eyes. <laughs> I'm going to draw two curves for 
the paw, fingers, or toes. And then let's draw a zigzag line. We'll go down and then connect back up. And then let's draw another zigzag in between the paws. And we could draw another zigzag to connect the right side. Now let's jump up here to the top and we're gonna draw the rest of the top of the pumpkin. <laughs> so we're gonna draw two lines coming out to the side and then let's draw a zigzag line to finish or connect the two sides together. Now let's draw our pug's face. I'm gonna draw a big oval for the snout. Right there, underneath, in the middle, but underneath the pumpkin. Now let's draw the nose inside. We're gonna draw the letter V towards the top. And then we can connect the top of the V for an upside down triangle. And we can also color that shape in. Now let's draw the mouth. We're gonna draw a line coming straight down first, and then we'll curve out to the left side and then out to the right side. Oh, let's draw a little tongue sticking out at the bottom too. <laughs> now let's draw the eyes, and pug eyes have are really big, right? Yeah. So we're gonna draw, well that's really big. We're gonna draw a big circle on the left and also a matching circle over here on the right. And then we could also draw, sometimes the pug eyes look like they're pointing outwards. So I'm gonna draw the pupils kind of on the outside of <laughs> the eye. Uh, then we can also draw a smaller circle inside to make the pupils look shiny. <laughs> and then let's color in that middle circle, but leave the little one white. Now let's draw our pug's face. And I'm gonna draw this curve that comes out of the eye and then we'll imagine it going behind each of the zigzag lines. I'll come out over here and connect back to the eye. Now let's draw the bottom of the face. We can curve out of the eye again and then connect to the mouth. And the same thing over here on the right side. <laughs> Let's also add a little wrinkle above the snout. We could add wrinkles over the eyes too. <laughs> what should we draw next? The ears. Yeah, let's add a letter V right here and also a letter V on this side. And then we can connect that letter V into the face. And let's add an extra curve for the very top of our pug's head going into the pumpkin, the top of the pumpkin. And we'll do the same thing over here if you have room. Yeah, there we go, we did it. Let's draw the rest of our pug's body. I'm gonna draw a line coming down into the pumpkin. That kinda of doesn't look like our pug fits in the pumpkin. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and then we need to draw the tail. I'm gonna start here and we'll draw a curve or a U-shape coming out of the body. And we're gonna curve it around. So we'll go over that U-shape and then back into the body. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our, what did we call it? Pugkin. Pugkin, <laughs> except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video and take time to color your drawings too. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it, we finished coloring and drawing our pumpkin and it looks awesome, all colored in. Yeah. Let's show our art friends the inside. Three, Three two, two, one, one. boo! <laughs> <laughs> we added extra details to the inside of our folding surprise. We added bats and then we also even dressed our pug up to look like a vampire. We yeah. had teeth and a cape. You can pause the video right now to color your drawings. You could also add extra details. You could dress your pug up differently. Maybe like a witch. Yeah, or a zombie. And when you add things to the inside of your folding surprise, you wanna make sure that you draw above the bottom fold 
and below the top fold. That way when you fold it up, it's completely hidden. Yeah, we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your pug in a pumpkin. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take time to add more things to the inside and dress your pumpkin up for Halloween. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.